In today's video, we're going to be talking about herbs for spiritual protection. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another video. So today we're going to be talking about herbs that are really good for spiritual protection. Now, when do you, when would you need spiritual protection? Usually it's when you find yourself in negative situations a lot. So that could be a lot of tension in the house, fighting in the house, maybe a lot of bad luck happening, one thing after the other. Um, and a lot of the times it could be anything. It could be uh, stuff that you have like brought on to yourself by the way that you think and speak. Those are vibrations. Those are magic spells in itself that you do is what you think and speak. And then other times it could be evil eye that people send you, jealous eyes, um, greedy energy, you know. Um, other times it could be like generational bad luck that has followed you. Or sometimes it could just be as simple as you had a phone call with uh, somebody on customer service and they had really bad energy. You got to protect and cleanse your home. So these are five herbs you could use. And a lot of the times, like if you feel off, if you feel like you just, the energy is not balanced, the energy doesn't feel right, the energy is just off, then you know that these are some herbs that you could use to protect your energy, protect the energy of your home, your relationships, uh, your finances, your career, your mental state. Like these are herbs to help with so much. I'm only gonna be sharing with you the herbs that I use personally that I've been using for years that I have seen results in both me, my clients. So these are herbs that really will show you something in your life. So if you're interested, let's get started. The first herb that we have here is cloves. And you wanna make sure that you do get cloves that have a majority of the head on still. Um, but cloves are very, very protective. They keep away gossip they help keep away negative energies and negative spirits, keeps away unwanted and unwelcomed energy, jealous eyes, envious people. Um, what you could do is put one clove with the head on in the four corners of your home, um, outside the property or inside. And if you can use a powder, if you don't have like the actual clove, you can also burn this inside of your house. It's, it's also, it's very like, Kind of like an exorcism if you burn this inside the home it really gets the negative energy out you can also add cloves to red candles it's really really good i have an entire video on it and i think i may have a few left in my etsy shop i'm not too sure but you could do this at home with a red candle and cloves it's very powerful for sending negative energy back for sending evil eye back you know so yeah, get yourself some cloves. The next herb I wanna to talk to you guys about is hyssop. So hyssop is a very strong herb and this is for those of you that like really need some strong protection. Like you really need to get into the roots. You need to cleanse and protect like deep, deep down. Hyssop is really, really good. It's also good because um, it helps to purify and cleanse too on top of that protection property that it gives. Hyssop is an herb that gets it done. Um, it doesn't play. Like it's very strong. It will. It's like one that breaks through barriers, breaks through stuff to get the job done, which is purification, cleansing, and protection. And an, another reason I like to use hyssop is because it not only does the protection, the purification, and the cleansing, but it also brings positive, good energy and it's believed to help remove curses and hexes and things like that. Now what you could do is put hyssop in a bowl like I did right here and put a black candle in there, whether that be a tea light or a chime or whatever and light it just to infuse and heat up that hyssop energy and spread it all over your house. Now don't leave it unattended just because it is in a bowl of herbs, but that is something that you could do. I may have some prepared black candles with hyssop in my shop. I'm not too sure if they're still up or sold out, but you could definitely uh, check it out. It is in the description box. 
Another thing you could do is add hyssop to your bath. This is a very like popular way to use it. It's very cleansing. It's good for spiritual rinse and just to get rid of negative energy around your own aura and your own energy. Um, something else you could do is boil it, wait for it to cool down, strain it and use it as a rinse. You can use it as a floor mop. You can sprinkle it around your house. There's a lot of things you could do with that water. But be careful on your skin because hyssop can be a little harsh for some people with sensitive skin. So yeah, that is the next herb that I, it's a go-to, it's a must. Because it the energy of protection in it is so strong, but it also carries positive energy and protection as well as purification and cleansing. So it's really, Good. The next herb that I want to talk about is star anise. So here is an entire star right here. And if you can get your hands on the entire star, it's very lucky. It's very, very good. So here, star anise is very dominating. It's a very seductive, alluring, manipulating, like it gets the job done, but it will sweeten its way through to get the job done. So I love this herb. It smells like black licorice <laughs> and it's really good for protection and it keeps away evil eyes. It's also purifying and it creates a psychic shield. So it's really good for protection of your spirituality. You know, keep it on your altar. Uh, keep it if you guys do tarot or any kind of divination like on your Ouija board or whatever. Keep it there. Keep a star over there. Keep it in your bathroom. Keep one underneath the mattress. Keep one uh, on top of your front door. Like you could keep it anywhere that you want to protect the energy that's going out or coming in. Um, what you could do is carry this with you. You could carry it in like a little bag, in your purse, your wallet, in your car, um, you know, luggage and stuff like that. You can keep one. You can keep one star in every four corner of your house, like north corner, west corner, south corner, and east corner. Um, you could either bury it under the ground or keep it inside the property on those four corners. You can also keep one under your pillow or mattress to keep away bad dreams. This is really good for keeping nightmares away. Something that I really like to do with this, and not everybody's gonna prefer it just because of the smell. Very black licorice type of a scent, but if you can boil this and then strain it, and you can use it to spray all over your house, like as a rinse, just be careful. For some people, it could be harsh on your skin. But yeah, those are a few ways you could use star anise, and this is something you could also burn. Burn it on top of your stove, because it helps drive away Pop, it helps to drive away poverty um, and lack. So burn it right on top of your stove, like in a little fire safe bowl. Um, or you could keep this bowl like this, um, a fire safe bowl on top of your stove and then have the anise in there and just light a white candle <laughs> or a black one. You can even keep, you can even do the hyssop around there. Like you can mix and match these. If you can get all of these five together, it's really good. So yeah, that's the next herb that I wanted to talk to you guys about is star anise. The next herb that I wanna to talk to you guys about is nettle. So nettle is, nettle is very unique because lots of people are scared of nettle. You know, for a lot of people, like, like I'm touching it right now, a lot of people cannot because it is so sensitive, like their skin can maybe break out in rashes and stuff. So it is one of those that you have to be a little bit more careful with your skin and stuff. But nettle is something that protects like a mom, like a mother. Um, it keeps its space safe, like a mother would. So I really like the energy of nettle for that reason. But like a mom, she will also like give you a nice slap when you need it, you know? Um, nettle keeps... It helps, nettle helps to keep your mind away from negativity. It provides mental clarity. Nettle is very good for keeping away negativity and stress, frustration, worry, anxiety, stuff like that from the mind. So that's why I like to work with this a lot. Um, sometimes it could kick you in the ass, just like that Kali energy, you know, like 
if you keep repeating a behavior that's not serving you, like nettle or like that gali energy, they'll, they're gonna try to take you out of it because it's not serving you. It's just harming you, you know? So many people, um, nettle is also believed to dispel fear and to remove doubt. And this is really good for lots of fighting and tension in the home. Nettle helps to calm that down because it is that nurturing motherly energy, you know? So you can burn nettle inside of your house. That's one of the best ways to do it. You can also, you know, make sure you check with your doctor before you intake any kind of herbs, but using it in a tea is very good for mental clarity, for, you know, it's very, very good. Um, but just make sure that you can and that you're, you know, you won't have any, just make sure you check with your doctor before you do because a lot of times our bodies, we don't know what kind of herbs and stuff our bodies can handle and stuff. So be careful. Um, another thing you could do is that if you think that you've been cursed or hexed or, or something like that, then carry just a little bit with you. Sprinkle it a little teeny bit in your pockets um, or carry like a little baggie or if you have like um, It's really really good to keep the energy away and get rid of it, too So yeah, that's another herb that I wanted to share with you and The last herb that I wanted to share with you guys is rosemary and I'm sure so many of you have this already inside your house in your garden it's really good for protection but it has also like that motherly like the feminine protection it's very gentle and nurturing type of protective energy it's also very cleansing now um, now rosemary is ruled by the sun and so it will bring in those energies the sun carries energies of warmth and cheer and happiness success manifestation growth so rosemary is very, very good. And it just, it brings in happiness and cheer and very, very good energy. After you like cleanse your home or you do a protection type of a ritual or spell or anything, you know, you just kind of even, you kind of just cleared out energy. So you want to bring back good energy. And that's why I like to use rosemary because it all, already carries the energy of the sun um so rosemary is very very good also using rosemary is very good for if you have children that are still in school or if you have like kids that are in college or even if you are like in school or college or studying it's really good for like stuff like that like studying and exams and tests and school it helps to protect those kinds of things and brings mental clarity when it comes to like passing the test and focusing and um, remembering things it's very very good for stuff like that it has a very very strong scent so the the scent of rosemary overpowers whatever kind of it's around so it's very overpowering overbearing and that's why i also like to use it for protection because it just overpowers overbears whatever other energy was there so it's very good like that another thing you could do is cook with it keep like a bowl or a thing of rosemary on your altar and then you can cook with it take it a little bit of at a time whenever you need it and cook with it um, another thing you could do is burn rosemary in your house that's very cleansing and protective that's one of the best ways you could use it you can also boil it cool it <laughs> strain it and use that as a floor mop uh, as a rinse for yourself sprinkling it all over your house you could use that water for a lot you can also put rosemary in a blue candle. So either you could do like a rosemary bowl and then put a blue candle in there, or you could just sprinkle some rosemary in a blue candle. This helps to protect communication, um, like protect the harmony, protect the peace of the home, protect, you know, the relationships and the bonds and uh, a lot of throat chakra work. So like communication and loving communication and protect the way you guys talk to each other, stuff like that. So that's really good uh, if you use it with the blue candle. And the last way that I wanted to talk to you guys about is this is really, really good for couples. If you want to cleanse the energy 
of like two people um make sure you do something with rosemary because rosemary likes to help the feminine energy of the relationship which is all about what compassion nurturing um just being that more like listening and stuff like that you know where masculine is also always very like protective and you want to provide and like it's a very go-getter type of an energy very active whereas the feminine of the relationship lets you speak and understand and communicate and stuff like that so you always need that too all right you guys so that's how you would use a rosemary okay so those were herbs that i personally go to they are my go-to's they are very powerful the energy of them is very very good so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more content from me, as always, head over to Patreon or OF because there I can talk about things that uh, I can't overhear. And so, yeah, I'll talk to you real soon.